subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the formula for stress due to impact load in case of strain energy. So let's get started. The formula for stress for impact load and impact load is a load which is falling from a height. To explain it, first I'll draw the diagram. Now here there is a rod which is having area capital A and L is the length of this rod. At the end of this rod a collar is attached. Now here there is a load denoted by capital P and it is up to a certain distance from the collar. And this distance is denoted by small h that is the load is falling from this height and when this load falls from the height it would try to pull the collar in the downward direction and because of this the collar gets extended and it will try to pull the rod along with it. So there would be deflection in the rod and because of that there would be an energy stored and that stored energy is called as the strain energy. So here I will draw the deflected diagram. So the collar gets displaced and this displacement is nothing but the instantaneous deflection. This delta L here is called as the instantaneous deflection because of the load falling from the height and as we see the rod gets elongated. The moment we remove this load, the rod will regain its original shape because of the stored energy called as the strain energy. So I will write the formula that stress in case of impact load is given by it is the maximum stress and it will be P upon A plus root of So this is the formula of the maximum instantaneous stress because of impact load. I will quickly write the terms here. P is the load falling from a height. Capital A. Area of rod in terms of mm square. Capital E is Young's modulus or modulus of elasticity for the rod material unit is Newton per mm square then H is the height of fall that is the height from which the load is falling onto the collar denoted by mm and L is the length of rod. So in this video we have seen the stress formula in case of impact load. This formula would be used while solving the problems related to impact loads. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your 
family and friends thanks for watching